Hello everybody, it's your boy Redstone Ix here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Legends where today we are continuing the journey to defeating the evil piglets and uniting the overworld. Now, before we jump right back into this game, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Apart from that guys, we're just gonna uh, jump straight back into this game and take care of business. Okay guys, so last time we uh, took out a few more uh, portal bases over here and we did unlock another new golem which was the first of Diorite. So I believe in today's episode, I guess we can um, check first check out these question marks right over here, see what they're about. Then take on this this newly spawned there is a new base, base here. In the world. Their hunger spreads like a sickness. And I guess after that, we can probably take on this next, uh, Horde of the Bastion base right over here. And then I guess th that might be it for today's episode. But we'll see what else happens. But for now, I guess we'll fast travel to this peace for now. village. Let us hope they avoid the piglin's hungry eyes. Okay, so the question mark should be over here. So I guess let's go see what that is about. Okay guys, so it looks like we found this question mark looks to be another tower of some sort with a bell. I wonder what this tower is called. Well, I guess it's time to investigate. The villagers once used these towers to call to the LAs for assistance. When that bell rings, it makes the sweetest sound you'll ever hear. Really? Is that so? Yeah, <laughs> apparently we don't share the same taste in music. <laughs> not everybody agrees with you. Apparently not. So let's see what the book has to say about this particular tower. So it's called the Stun Tower. When rung, the Stun Tower emits a sound that stops piglins in their tracks. Interesting. So I guess it kind of temporarily stuns them. So how much is it to get this tower? Oh, we can- Nope! Oh, actually, no, we can't afford it. We need- we need more coal. Maybe we might get some more coal later and come back to collect this tower, because that might prove to be handy. And it looks- and it looks like the- the piglins are planning to attack the skeletons later. The piglins target your friend's home tonight. They will need your help. I guess before we uh, help the skeletons again, I think we can, um, we'll see this other question mark over here. And maybe if there's time, we can try to take on this uh, next portal base before helping the skeletons, but we'll see. But anyway, let's go. Okay, guys, so it looks like we arrived at the next uh, question mark over here, and it looks to be another stun tower, so. But again, we still don't have the coal to get it, so. I guess with that in mind, I guess we could probably... I don't know, maybe we can head back to the Well of Faith and maybe do a bit of upgrading. Okay, guys, so let's see what we need to upgrade. Okay, we're definitely gonna try to upgrade Alley storage, so that way we're able to get more of each materials. But we're just... Well, we need more stone for that. And I guess we can, um... Try getting this improvement. What else? Shared chest. Shared village chest. Links all village chests together, enabling access to all of them from any village. Oh. So I'm guessing that means, like, since there's a village that this produces village peace for now. diamonds and lapis here, the the lapis and coal eyes. here. This village is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. Yes, Foresight, we know. So I'm guessing that improvement means that we can get a bunch of different... Hold on, where was it? We can get a bunch of different resources from just visiting one village chest. That would actually be handy. Should probably uh, do those then. Okay, so let's gather up some stone and wood real quick. 
And we should definitely get plenty so that we can do the other upgrades as well. Okay, guys, so I think we should have enough to, uh, get, to get some of these, uh, improvements here, so... Let's definitely put in the alley storage one. Hold on, where is... Here it is. And I guess we can put this one right... Hold on. Maybe right here. So I guess that's that. Now, what was the other one that I wanted to get? Oh yeah, abundant outlays. Let's do that. I guess for that one, we can also put it... Maybe here, or do we already have that? No, that was Cure Netherrack. Okay, never mind. Let's put that right here. Improving your musical skills will gather a bigger audience of likes. You'll be a better loot player than me in no time. Okay. So now, what up? What else do we need? We got improvement for Flames of Creation. I guess we could um. So this is the one we did before. Expert Mason. One-time improvement adds 100% faster conversion of structures into stone by masonry. Plus 50 or a range of defense. So I'm guessing that means it will turn all of our structures to stone. I guess that could be pretty handy, so I guess let's do that. Why not? How big is- okay, that is quite big, so... Maybe we might want to do it here. So what else do we want to do? We already did the abundant outlays one. But what else do we- oh right. We need the shared village chest improvement. And it looks like we are short on prismarine, so... So it looks like we may have to go up to that portal base, so that way we can grind up some more gold and prismarine. And then hopefully we'll be to the skeleton uh, homestead in the time to help ready them. For another go at the piglins whenever you need them. These friends will need your help tonight. So I guess the let's warp to that proud. village. This village is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry eyes. And it looks like we need to go this way to the next base, so... I'll see you guys when I uh, get to that base. Okay guys, so it looks like we arrived at the base here. So now let's take care of business. So let's place down zombie, skeleton, and creeper spawners. Actually, maybe we can use them to recall the armor troops. Oh, there we go. And then we can go take care of business. Now all of you I think it is safe to attack. say you have the horde's attention. This will definitely be easy. Okay, everyone, advance. While you guys are doing that, I might get uh, more mobs to uh, take out the structures around it. Let's get some zombies real quick. Hey, no, no. You guys, come here. I want you guys over here to focus on that tower. First is fallen. I guess let's get a bunch of uh, skeletons here. And have you guys focus on this spawner. Looks like the zombies are almost through with this town. Okay, good guys. So I guess take out this right here. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. 
Okay, guys, the portal's, like, down by below 50%, so we just need to keep hammering at this tower. One more push and the portal will fall. Exactly. Okay, 20%. This is good. Let's keep hammering at it, fellas. Okay, so I guess one more batch of creepers to explode should do the trick. So do your thing, guys. And there we go. That's what I would call setting this place off with a bang. And that's some easy prismarine and gold for that. And we're getting so much prismarine and gold from that small base. Come on, come to me. So we got 227 prismarine and 360 gold. So I think that should be plenty to uh, do some upgrades real quick. Okay, so let's check out what we were going to do. Okay, the shared village chest. So I guess we'll place this one right here. It's fine. With that melody, the lays will connect all the village chests for you. Yeah, this will definitely make things a whole lot easier, so. In terms of gathering chests, so. I suppose we can uh, go to a village this and village test it out right now. now. Let us hope they avoid the piglin's hungry eyes. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Yes, now it really works. We got a bunch of resources just from that one chest. So this is good now. So I think that will be this... Actually, no. I think the only downside with linking the this chest is that is for now. you cannot visit multiple ones at once the pigments hungry eyes. for resources. But I guess it's fine. So I guess with that, we'll probably just... Uh, one of your lines is Teleport to the you well house and help the skeletons now. Let's go. Oh, looks like we're here. Okay, so it looks like the skeleton need our help. Let's go help them. Don't let the Picklins break your friend's trust in you. Help right. them. Okay, so we know the drill, so. Skeletons, zombies, creepers, copper golems, grindstone golems. Let's throw in some mossy golems, too. Spawn in a couple of each. That way we can help out these guys. Alright. Engage. Okay, so it looks like this structure right here is what we're trying to protect. More piglins approaching! So it makes sense. And at least with this homestead, it's already filled with a bunch of skeletons, so. Okay, so where are those piglins at? Coming from this way. There they are. You guys, engage. At least so far, these penguins aren't so tough here. But we're just only a few minutes into this, so let's not let's not get too carried away. 
so let's get some creepers into this. And blow them up. More piglins! Oh, more piglins coming. Let's um, take care of them from over here. At least we're getting some easy uh, prisoner meeting. I was gonna say gold, but I'm not sure if we're getting gold right now, but so far we are getting easy prisoner out of this. And at least the structure for the skeleton remains at 100%. Hasn't taken damage once. Oh, there's that guy. There's that big guy. We're gonna need some more skeleton reinforcements. Actually, let's recall the troops. So now you guys can engage. Yeah, this guy doesn't stand a chance. have sent reinforcements. Okay, so I guess let's take a small group of you guys. Where are those pickles at? Don't see the reinf- Why are you talking about these guys? see some more way over there. Yeah, at least the good thing about this uh, home, defending this homestead here, is that unlike the villagers, the skeletons are actually able to defend themselves too, so it kind of makes the job of defending off these piglins way that much easier. And that'll probably go the same for the creepers and zombies too, if they ever get attacked again. some defenses in case the piglins return that's probably a good idea so hold on let's see what they'll be gonna build a carpenter's hut close by somewhere okay where's that uh structure okay that's over there so i guess we can put a carpenter's hut right about here and what else have we got for structures 
Wasn't there something about uh a mason rear? Yes. Okay, so we're short on iron. That's what's required to make this. But we can set up some more arrow towers, definitely. We can set up arrow towers in different places just to give the skeletons a little bit of help. Then maybe we can just build a, a little wall around this so that it will remain protected. If I can just... Yeah, let's do something like this. And then we put a wall, maybe starting here, to here. Yeah, I can't see because of these trees here, so... So where was I? Okay. So let's put a wall maybe right here. And then we put one more wall. One. I can just get in that spot. So we put a wall right about here. Okay, that should do it. Yep, that should definitely keep the this uh, flame here well protected. So I guess with that in mind, I guess the skeletons will be safe for now. So I guess before we end off this video, I guess we could... Actually, maybe we could see if we can quickly get one of these uh, stun towers here, then head to the next Horde of the Bastion portal over here before we end off this video so let's do that okay guys so we arrived at the stun tower so i believe we should have enough to collect it and we do nice and i guess maybe while we're at it we might um try to collect this stun tower as well and i think i just noticed on the map that it looks like this village is going to get attacked soon when it hit tonight. when night falls but i think we'll get to that after after we take on the next uh, horde of the Bastion base. Oh. The and piglins it, plan to fortify it looks like that base is going to upgrade itself. So. Before they do. so I guess that gives us more of a reason to try and take that on immediately before it gets too difficult. And that's another stun tower collected. But at least we got two now, so which is good. So with that in mind, I guess we'll, I guess the closest base, or sorry, the closest, uh, fast travel this is, uh, this village right here. When darkness falls tonight. So I guess let's head on over this way. So I'll see you guys when I, uh, reach that base over there. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, so it looks like we arrived at the next base. It looks doesn't look to be that difficult. The only tricky part would be how do I get inside? I'm guessing there must be a fucking zone. And it looks like they have the same uh, thing as like the last episode or the last portal base we took down. It looks like we need to take down two more of the lava coil towers in order to penetrate the portal first. Okay, this looks to be the entrance. I guess let's spawn in the troops and get going. Okay, so let's do some zombies and creepers right here. And some mossy golems. And we'll get going. And maybe I might be able to uh, cure some netherrack so I can finally test out the blast tower. Maybe not for when we go inside the structure, but maybe it'll, just to see how it works for the ones on the outside. Come on, guys. Start attacking here. Okay, so where's my cure netherrack? Oh, here it is. So I guess we'll have you guys get started curing the netherrack. You 
guys will advance on the gate. Right over there. I guess let's keep curing some nether. You have broken through their defenses. Well, that was awfully quick. Nice work, guys. Okay, so now take out this uh, spawner right over there. Hey, you mossy goons. Get in there. Yeah, I guess let's have them cure Netherrack over this way. Hey, these guys are doing nice work. this next one right here. Okay, so you focus on that tower next. Okay, I guess we'll take a small group of you guys and we'll focus on the structure behind it. Right there. Let's take out some more pink ones here too. Okay, that's more structures down. I guess we need to keep going around. Next tower right here. And we should be getting close to the gate, I think. Where's this gate at? Okay, so the gate is not that far. So we just need to keep taking out more of their defenses. So now let's focus on this gate right here. And it looks like we'll have to get to the uh, the other side to get that first uh, lava coil tower. So I guess I can take a small group of uh, these guys and also you guys right here. So it looks like we have to go to the other side to take out the first tower. Right here. Take it down. Watch out for these new piglins. Watch out for new piglins. What new piglins? I haven't seen any new piglins. Our mess less knowledge is talking about the ones inside the the gate. Okay, that's the first tower gone. So, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go check on the troops that were penetrating the gate from the inside. So, I guess we'll keep carrying Netherrack this way. Okay, so it looks like they already got through to that second gate. Now we just got one more gate. And then the tower is just right to the over there. So I'm gonna go get more reinforcements. Okay, so it looks like they're almost through to this uh, third game right here. We just need to keep going. Come on. Okay, we're through. Okay, so all of you guys take out that tower right there. Just be careful to get some sleep. First of all, take down that guy. Okay, so that tower is down, which means the portal is ours for the taking. You're almost done! The portal is exposed! The first has fallen. Okay, so let's go. I think I'm gonna cure some more netherrack, then I think I should be able to have a, a clear enough area to try out the new glass tower, hopefully. 
man, there are even more of those bigger penguins. I'm guessing that's what Nodge was talking about, is watch out for the, watch out for the new penguins. I guess he must be talking about those guys. And you can definitely see why. First, the diorites focus on the tower. Hey, what are you guys doing? Focus on that. Focusing on that tower. Maybe I'll take a small group of you guys focus on that spawn. So I wonder, do I have a clear enough area to put it down? Oh, I actually do. I actually do. So, let's build this blast tower and test it out. Let's make sure we keep the piglets away. Distance here. Keep them away from the blast tower until it's fully built. So let's spawn in some. Oh, I'm dead. But this isn't over. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys, I'm back in my own. Apparently, they uh, destroyed the blast tower that I was trying to build, so maybe it was not the best idea to build it right in the center with all these piglets here. So. But it's fine. I guess we'll do fine with that. Maybe the blast tower and the other towers were more for if you were defending a village. Probably. It looks like I may need to uh, get more reinforcements. These new piglets are uh, not making things easy, let me tell you. Okay, so all of you guys need fans. Portal's almost down. The portal is taking some serious damage. Yep, so let's keep hammering at it. I'll keep these piglets off your back. Okay, so the portal's almost down, guys. Just need to keep hammering at it. Let me uh, spawn in some more copper golems. Since I cured some netherrack in here already. Okay, so hopefully this uh, copper bone spot will finish. Oh, look, we have the person die right here, too. Oh, never mind. Uh, so now we can have all of you guys focus here. First is falling. First, the direct sacrifice will not be in vain. Especially since he managed to summon in more reinforcements beforehand. Okay, so we're almost there, guys. Portal is almost dead. Keep going, guys. It's at six percent. All right, guys, finish that portal off. Reapers, blow it up! Come on. And there we go. Portal is gone. Well done, guys. Seems more agitated than normal. The unbreakable is furious. 
The Horde of the Bastion will fight even harder to avoid punishment now. I'll say. But yeah, we definitely got a lot of gold and prismarine out of that. Oh, and it looks like that village is about to be attacked right now, so... Go to them. Should probably this go. This village is at peace for now. Let us hope they avoid the piglins' hungry Maybe we'll get eyes. to test out the blast tower, finally. Okay, where's my blast tower? Ah, we're out of redstone. I guess we'll have to clear out these, uh, piglins first. Piglets are retreating, so now we can build a carpenter's hut. Although it's a little bit of a shame, I was really hoping to uh, test out the blast tower today. I guess not. But let's get that carpenter's hut going so that way we can repair this place. And we can get rid of this marker. Okay, so things should slowly be getting back in order now. And we got some more materials from that, so... So I suppose for now we can uh, head back to the Well of Faith. I would still say it's a little bit unfortunate we didn't get to uh, get a chance to test out the Blast Tower, and maybe it was probably not the best idea to... to use it inside a Piglin base with all those Piglins constantly attacking it, but we'll eventually get to use these towers later. So guys, I think this is a pretty good spot to end off today's episode here, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss episode 7. Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time in the next episode. Goodbye!